Don't forget to advertise. I did. I did. I hit all the ads. They're out there now. No. I was waiting for you to tell me that they were. <laughs> well, they're out. Yeah. I just I just put them out right now. Literally, as I said it. Yeah. Well, they're blogged. Mm. Um, oh, and we're live. What are you doing out here? Mm -mm. Oh, this is the thing. Oh, look. Here it is. Super Luigi, book one. Oh, now hell yeah, I buy it. I like that 64 coins. Mm. All right. Let's see. What do I want? Uh, Fire flower. Oh, there's no mushroom. Yeah. What do I have for items right now? I think you have, like, a shit ton of items. Mushrooms, Ultra Shroom, Super Shroom. Actually, I'm going to use that Ultra Shroom and then the Super Shroom. And I'm going to throw that all through. Um... Zesty. Yeah. Uh, wait, have you unlocked the combination things yet? Yeah, I, I, I have the item for it. I need to get that to her, actually, right now. Because uh, I think if you combine, I want to say if you combine them, did you say it was a life shroom and ultra shroom? I got a life shroom and a oh, super shroom and an ultra shroom. I'm not using the life shroom on a, a zesty meal. I would do the trouble center. Is this, is this oh yeah, it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't do it anyways. Uh, I was thinking, where do you get fresh pasta? <sighs> I have no idea. I think you got to get that. No, I know exactly where you get it. What about a healthy salad? <sighs> oh, wait, 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 wait. You said you have an ultra mushroom, right? Yeah. Do you have a fire flower? I can buy one. Go buy one. Cook the uh, ultra mushroom with the fire flower. Oh, what's that going to get me? The zest special. Mm, okay. Uh, it replenishes 20 HP and 20 FP. I'm trying to remember what I came down this way for because I know I need something real quick. Fire flower? No, the fire flower is something else. Oh, I need to go to the um to the help center because I need to take her mission and then I can get it for her. Oh right, right. Zesty seeking legendary book. Is the book Luigi? The no, Luigi? no, it, it's the it's a book I picked up at Creepy Steeple. Oh, right. The Steepy Creeple. Yep. The Steeple Creeple. Uh, yeah. So I sent uh, you an I article that I want you to read. Yes, you did. Uh, let's go ahead and read it now before we get into uh, dialogue. Yeah. Okay. So it is called... The Paper Mario devs are no longer allowed to make new characters. The developers of Paper Mario have revealed they're no longer allowed to make new characters that touch on the Mario... They're no longer allowed to make characters that touch on the Mario universe or modify existing characters. In an interview with VGC, Nintendo veteran Kinsuke Tanabe uh, was asked about the process behind designing new villains for the franchise full of iconic antagonists like Bowser and Kamek. In response, Tanabe, meant, Tanabe noted that since Paper Mario's Sicker Star, it's no longer possible to modify Mario characters or create original characters that touch on the Mario universe. This means the team behind Paper Mario Origami King had to come up with new characters from outside the existing Mario universe for the game, as they couldn't riff on established Mushroom Kingdom villains. New characters seemingly can't resemble Mario characters. We need to create original characters with designs that don't violate Mario universe at all, like we've done with Ollie this, and the stationary bosses. Uh, the results. This resulted in the game's main villain, King Ollie, and his younger sister Olivia, who serves as a helpful sidekick during Mario's journey. It seems like the developers dealing with the Mario property will have to follow similar rules as Nintendo wants to retain current cast of characters as is for the foreseeable future. 
Whether a character becomes an all-time hit or not isn't up to us on the developer's side. I think it's more the case that characters the fans truly accept naturally in that way, Tanabe added, as suggesting that fan demand will decide whether we see Origami King's new characters in another game. I hope the Origami siblings in Paper Mario Origami King will stay in the players' memories, even if they do end up appearing in this one title. Wild. Yeah. So I got a Super Shroom. What can I mix with the Super Shroom? Because I got a Jam oh. and Jelly, too. Super Shroom? Uh, where's this? Uh, let's see. Let me pull up Zesty's recipes. A tasty meal made by Zesty replenishes 20 F HP and 20 FP. That's not bad. That's, like, really good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, Ultra Shroom and Fire Flower. Mm. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, do you have a, a... No, that's stupid. You have Jam and Jelly, right? Yeah. Do you have a point swap? Uh, not anymore. Can you get a point swap? I don't know where you'd find one. No. If you combine a point swap and a jam and jelly, you get an ultra mushroom. Really? Yeah. Oh, because it swaps what they are. Okay. How so? Because a point swap changes attack to defense and defense to attack. Oh, does jam and jelly give like 50 defense or something? Uh, Jam and Jelly gives uh, 50 FP. Okay. So that means if you get a point, if you get a Ultra Shroom and a Point Swap, that would make Jam and Jelly? Yep. Interesting. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's got to be a way to just go poof and get rich, you know? Poof. Well, the way you do that is you walk up into the bank. Oi, what's with the mustache? What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right, then hey, ask me anything. Me. I'm like an encyclopedia. I am. I can answer anything. What the hell is the mini Mr. Mini? Uh, that's like a... That's like a... Sh it uh, reduces uh, the enemies in size, which means it reduces their attack power. Oh. Oh, key ho key. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. What do you got to say, little man? See that ship docked there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't oh. sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs out in Podley's joint on the plaza. Is Flavio the disco guy? Oh, uh, no, he's not. Okay. He's worse. Worse? Can I voice him? Go for it. I, I, as long as I get to voice uh, the next companion. Sure. I don't know who the next companion is. Oh, you're going to love But I got Vivian. Q -O key that, That's that cursed island! Don't get mixed up that place for your own sake! What kind of vibe should I go for Fabio? <sighs> You'll know as soon uh, as you wait. see him. Oh, okay. Judging by your reaction, I'm guessing like lemon crab. <sighs> hey, hey, Luigi, what up? Oh, you we already talked. You know where I can it. find Flavio? No. I'm guessing that's Flavio. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, lemon crab. And what do you want, uh, to me? You ask about? I am called Flavio. I am, how you say it, traitor. The richest man in robot. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth and spirit. Oh my god, you're cracking your mic. Oh my god. And yet, why is it the rich man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more 
<laughs> what is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. All oh, is that nice sock of battle. I must know what do I lack? Okay, he has a lot of dialogue, so unless you feel comfortable doing that voice for an entire... Surprisingly, it does not hurt. <laughs> it does not hurt like the Toad voice. Okay. <laughs> uh, probably thrills are what you're lacking. Or money. He has money, but it's always fun to make someone think... Thrills, you say? I suppose one does need thrills every now and then. There's nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. Ah! ah no foolish, Flavio. No chills, you silly man. What you need a thrill? <laughs> yes. Wait. Oh, the horses, that's it? Now that I'm thinking about it, I once heard a treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Specifically, he had the One Piece. Yes, that's the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. I like that we don't even need to convince him. He's already come up with it himself. Yeah. Why the shrieks of romance and thrills and emotions and even money? We got to have money. What we need is more money. Have you ever seen the Tom and Jerry movie? Yeah, I, I just quoted it better than you did. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it, oh. What it is is it's what we need is more money. Oh, do you not know the tale of the Pirate King's treasure hidden kill hole key? I'm, I'm, I must, I must be quoting a different scene where he says the exact same thing because I swear he says we've got to have money. It must be a different scene. He probably says that like a lot. That is such a weird movie. An absolutely weird movie. And I don't know if it's better than the new live action movie. That's more accurate to the source material. <laughs> oh, I think he does say it both, actually. Ah, well, the tells say the Pirate King got as hit his hoard of pirate booty there. You mean he has a fat ass? Exactly, and there's nothing pirates love more than the fat ass of a rugged sailor. For well, years, the treasure hunters and the ruffians have gone there to search for the loot. I thought you said he was butt. Yes, that's what he, he has loot tattooed on his cheek. But not a single one of us ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle, among other things. People hear whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek this treasure. Yeah. It's because of those very rumors that people no longer go to kill Hulk. But that will not stop the treasure there. Yes, I'm going to prove it. Did you say Flavio or did you just scream like a pterodactyl? Yes. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, you must have seen that uh, that video where she's like, "My power ring lost forever." I love that one. <laughs> no, my power ring lost forever. <laughs> I am free, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, billionaire, sell of the seven seas. He's part of the one percent. Yes, he's, he's he's Elon Musk. We have to kill him. Oh, what is just saying? You're there to look for treasure here in Rugport. Yes. Why talk such crazy? There's nothing like that in this dull I'm pit of a town. You cannot be believing such. 
stupid room is about treasure. Some street urchin spews at you. No, 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 no! Now, what madness comes sting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Yes, well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. I don't, I only want to see the map. I don't plan to kill you for it. Yet. I'm going to see that map one way. Oh, it's so weathered. Yes, Look at the you clouds. <laughs> yes, you haven't joked. Just go straight to kill a you swine! Did you mean to steal my treasure right from under me, you awful, awful man? Yes. Very well. I mean, no. I'll kill you for it. Well, now I'm confused. Are you looking for the thing known as the crystal star? No, I'm thinking a star shape so what? It's said to be in Cortez's horn. He has a horn now. First he has booty. Then he has World of Warcraft. Make up your mind. Yes, perhaps I can sell it for a stack of your mouth cash. Yes, that would be... Yes. I'm such a dance for now, yo. What you need is romance. Thrills and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business bear for me suggests. It must be fate at work. Javier shall go with you to kill Oki. You do not have a choice. Of course, the crystal star is for you, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Oh, you must repeat that. Flavio's ears are not plugged in. You have no ship. But... <laughs> Unfortunate foolish man, do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, it will be massive and glorious! Splendid, splendid! Let the preparations begin immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader, yes, and you'll have a dear captain! Ah, uh, danger and adventure. Take my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. This is literally the plot of treasure. This is literally the plot of Treasure Island. What? This is literally the plot of this Treasure Island. Look how tall Vivian um, is. Why is she so tall? Vivian, why are you cosplaying as the character from Resident Evil 8? Oh, I just want to be Lady Dimitrescu. <laughs> Yeah, what she does is, like, if there's an obstacle in her path, she grows to uh, go over it. That's and, cute. And those bottles are count as, like, obstacles at table two. So she just... No, she's just asserting dominance. <laughs> she likes to feel tall. Oh, those mommy nickers! <laughs> Bye, Mario. Oh, we got the book. Oh wait, can we do we does something happen if we bring that to Luigi? Can he sign it for us? Uh, I, I don't think so. Oh, let's do the catalog now. Nah, that's uh what's it gonna be under? Year? Important thing. Super Luigi. Book one. <laughs> I'll read this one. Okay. Have you ever experienced a time when no matter how hard you tried you failed and the time you spent felt wasted? If ever you feel such pains of regret Try to remember this tale. The story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Super Luigi Volume 1. The quest begins. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know the letter he was about to receive would forever change his destiny. Sir Luigi, danger besets on us on all sides, and we beg your help. The foul chestnut queen has stolen our treasure, our fair princess. The letter was from Minister Krep of the Waffle Kingdom, a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with his dire task, Luigi wasted no time curtailing the heroic meal he was making. Then he packed for his deadly journey. Knowing that his older, though less talented brother was out on a no doubt inconsequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Mix a keel mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit parfait. 
These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery and endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Crep, who carefully handed him a compass base with only one intact section. Our land had a second treasure, the marvelous compass. Find its seven parts and find Eclair. So it began to be continued. <laughs> I love that. I love that is completely canon with our portrayal of Mario and Luigi's relationship. <laughs> well, what I love about it is the fact that it gets more absurd than Luigi's version. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. And the thing is, that's all completely 100% how it happened based on how we've been portraying the characters. <laughs> ah, yes, so it's you. Uh, well, sadly, there's a slight problem that's fucked up. Let's feast your eyes upon this fantastic ship of fine vessel. No? Uh, I've seen finer. No, you haven't. The best, the best <laughs> ship. The Queen and Countess of the ship is my personal fleet. Are we talking about ships? Because, personally, I think Mario X Vivian, really good ship right here. Look, that she's standing by my side right now. Luigi and Bowser. Oh, that's that's a great A ship too. The raw majesty of her hull, the pump, the circumstances none can compare, and her majesty will raw me. Yes, the old elegant curve of her brow she cuts into the very soul, don't you agree? But she's not just a beauty, she's a savage beast on the waters, and she tops many sailboats, if you know what I mean. She's a dominatrix, I should have known! Exactly, but above all else, I can tell you that brown ship can... Yes, did you see? Yes, yes, of course. The problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. Uh, as Fabian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer the ship. Do you know? Now, here's a real problem. The waters are unkillable. They are deadly dangerous. A deadly curse of death. We need some sturdy skilled helmsmen for our navigator. Is that what you say? Pickle. Oi, Flavio. Hold you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Tease me outside of the bedroom, Papa. You can solve a problem and spit it out already. I know you're good at spitting out. One of my favorite things about the Baboms in this universe is their names are. They're like Papatch or Babowser or like Baboom. They've got like a little pa or like little. Yeah, it, it repeats the. Yeah. It felt, yeah. And I am pissed at myself because I said deadly curse of death. I meant fatal curse of death. <laughs> well, sir, I heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Barbary, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the helmsman such, sir, he can make any shit bow to his will. He's a right dominatrix, that one. Thing is, the ain't a soul would seen him on the sea of late. Ah, that's a moon! Let's scout out this Barbary fellow and get him on board. We could always use more mm, seamen. As customary, my captain will handle the negotiations and that would be you, Mario. Does that sound bad to everyone, does it not? 
No complaints. I say, hey, hey, hey. Sounds fair, sir. I'm on board. Good plan. Sure thing. It's decided. You must find this babbery and bring him here. I'm holding sales with you. Oh, yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. What about you, good fellow? Mm. Are you trustworthy? Completely innocuous person. Of course, he's trustworthy. Look at him. He's got a floppy ear. Oh, uh, pleased to meet you, on your acquaintance. Bo ho 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 I love the fatal curse of death, by the way. That's a doctor here, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the one with the Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, that's uh The first female doctor was, it was there. It was also written by Moffat. Yeah. He's good at single episodes. He's not good at like overarching sto like overarching plots. Yeah, I I've heard that said a lot. Um, yeah, let's see. The I'm... Empty Child was good. Silence in the Library was good. Uh, uh, not the second part of the library though. Or not as good. Admiral Barbary. Yeah, yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. But I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Oh, don't bother me. No more. When I come and I explode, let it be. Let it be. <laughs> uh. Put I'm down guessing, some sick beats. based on his name, he's a bomb. It's locked from the inside. Can you slip through the cracks between the buildings? I guess I have to figure something out here. Did it crack? Oh. Can you slip to, through the cracks in the building? See the crack between the two buildings? Oh, wait a minute. I know exactly what I gotta do here. Yeah, the, the crack in the two buildings leads me to pl to a place I've already been. Oh. What I gotta do is this. You gotta talk to this guy? Hey, the other day I saw a guy jumping from the roof and he was dashing. You yeah, think he may have been a bandit. That's why he was sneaking into chimneys. He definitely ain't no Santa Claus. How suspicious. People just sneaking into houses. Oh, I can't trust. You can't trust anybody these days. Oh. No, you cannot. There's an item back here. Is this star shine? Shine spray. Shine bit. I love shine. I can't believe you've done this. Oh my god! Look like at the cheap cheap or cheap bow wow. Chain chomp. Cheap chomp! I think that's what they're called, right? It, it's cheap a fish. Chomp? It's a fish. I know, it's a fish based off the chain chomps. Is, aren't they called cheap chomps? I don't know. Okay, so we have enough uh, to power up Miss Mouse now. Oh, hello, Mysterious Trader. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty, the Traveling Minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that's around the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. I don't trust him. The four heroes. Let, 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 let's hear about this. Are you going to sing it? I'll give it a shot. Okay. The boo used a powerful magic to learn more about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We need the toad hero of Petalburg Meadow and the wise Goomba of Boggly Woods. The boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. So this is basically the, um, that was the a entire backstory. Yeah, that was a goddamn awful 
So, so the heroes are a Toad from Petalburg, a Goomba from Goomy Woods, uh, a Boo from I'm gonna guess Rogueport. Yeah, I believe. Uh, and I, I, th- I think the idea is that they tell more in the backstory that I skipped over. So you got to pay for every bit of oh the story. Oh my god, I love his mustache. What do you blokes want? Oh, I was expecting you to go like full pirate. Yar. Ooh, shine get. Oh, I'll come try pirate. <sighs> Admiral Barbary, I have the fairness idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Drop the axe, Super Stash. We've already found out that you're Admiral Barbary. Hurrah, what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with him if it were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? Ah! I can't do a pirate voice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, So sorry, but we... But you'll have to be looking elsewhere. Yeah, I shall set sail upon the seas nevermore. Okay, let me try. Okay. Yeah, try like Barbosa. You have to come along. Oh, you can get a safety to Keyhole Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no. That is way better. No way with you. Well, I guess we just have to tell Flavio that we're shit out of luck. Did you just walk through me? Without you a ghost? What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. No, we're not gonna... You ignore that. You just walked right through me. You phased right through me like a ghost. We can't figure this guy out. I can't figure you out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? Know what we had to do? Find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. I'm going to swap to Vivian because she has might have stuff to say. I like the cute Goombas. Yeah, the Goombas are really cute in this game. Yeah. I'm going to save her right here just to make sure that if something That's goes wrong. a good wrong... idea. Oh, also we should probably uh, upgrade Mauser. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be walking back there, so I might as well uh, do that on my way back. And then the princess and I, we rented a hotel room together. And you would not believe the chains that she brought. Oh, shit, my brother's here. We'll finish this conversation later. You say Barbary won't go to sea, huh? Well, I can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Barbary back on the water? Of course. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keelhaw Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors meet their end. Not old Barbary, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Barbary's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do, I can take it. In that case, get ready. Barbary's tale of woe goes something a little like this. Barbary was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. Oh yeah, she was beautiful. The two of them madly in love. The sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Like the princess bride, which I might be stealing this from extensively. Now, Barbary was a renowned sailor. He was away from home for long periods. But then, the dread pirate Roberts came. No, no, my bad. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Barbary's return. And Barbary, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived, and they found happiness where they could, and all was good. For time... But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus, a passing cold, no one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bob didn't say fit six feet back or wear a mask. They said it was all a hoax to get microchips implanted in our bloodstreams. Bob at home on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned... Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Jesus Christ. Barbary, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. 
If only I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. Naturally, I'm removing his accent, since it's very difficult for me to do, on a part of my scoliosis. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. I see him out there, looking at it, cursing its existence. Oh, I can't imagine what a poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? We have a choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Is it like a locket or something that has what? Oh. The letter Scarlet wrote to Barbara in her deathbed. Why didn't you give this to him as soon as he came back? On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Barbara a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you she told me as she lay dying, if I should succumb to this plague and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. And why didn't you do it? How long has she been dead? When I saw Barbara in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. So it is kind of your fault. Yeah, it's totally my fault. You know, I write about it in my blog. I, I, I tell people, I'm like, oh, I, I wish I brought this letter to Barbary, but I didn't. I was too cowardly. And I, I just sort of guilt trip myself, and then I, like, I don't do anything about it. It's great. I get like 10 likes. Take this letter and do the deed. I was too cowardly. I'm a very strange little man. You see this this glow about me? I'm from the Bean Bean Kingdom. I'm a refugee. You know, that, makes very, that makes a lot of sense. I I've been there once, but I came down with a horrible case of beanitis, and I was almost turned into a bean. My brother had to impersonate me in order to get the cure, which was a weird kind of root beer. I killed men. I was in the I was in the Bean Bean Rebellion. Oh. I won't tell which one. Killed. It didn't work. My brother also killed. He was a demon clan at one point. Oh. Thank you so much, Mr. Podley. Um we'll deliver the letter right away, don't worry. Ready to go, Mario? Get it? That rhymed. Ah. So anyway. And she took the chains and she tied me to the bed. <laughs> uh, God, the, you really do need to play Superstar Saga. I should. That, that, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, but I want, what, I want to finish this first. Well, obviously, after you finish this. I was so rebel. So which partner would you like me to power up? We got choices. We got, we got five. And we're not going to be able to upgrade Bobbery until later. I wonder what her power is going to be. Oh, well, she's she she's not Daddy necessary. So. She she's an optional character, so she doesn't really have the best abilities. They're not necessary. So she's got like a bunch she of. What, let you know whenever there's a badge near or something. Yeah. All right, what did you unlock? Tease. Okay, I'm gonna see oh what the my! Is. I'm gonna check what the moves. So she's got love slap. Attack an enemy with a slap that pierces defense. Okay, never mind. She pierces defense. Vivian does not. Steal okay. an enemy's badge or item. That's and useful. Tease, tease an enemy with some sly moves, making them dizzy. So she applies status oh effects. My. Okay, so yeah, she is really useful. She's basically a meow. Not a little, yeah. God, you want to know what the best. So, whenever I played Pokemon uh, when I was a kid, I was such a shitbag. You want to know why? Do you use Payday? I like, no. Uh, I had Sand Attack, and I would spam it a lot. Because, you know... It's, it's really uh, good. Oh, yeah. No, it's amazing. All right, you ready? Yes. What? Oh, by Blabberton. By Blabberton's beard, not you again. 
No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon. A letter you say for me? Uh, my, my accent's slipping. Hey, Barbary. It's what? all your fault. I never would have died if you weren't here. Scarlet. This is a Scarlet's handwriting. It's a Scarlet letter. Scarlet, my love. You want to read this? My love, if you're reading this letter, then I'm no longer by your side. Because you fell in love with the ocean, and you weren't there, and it's your fault. Dang it. Because fate has stepped in between us, I've decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I may have passed away while you were out sea. Yeah, I was out with the sea. That's totally it. Sea. The C stands for cat. <laughs> I can only assume that you will blame yourself, my dear sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your lovers, both of your life's lovers. Time, lack like love, is a sea. You are once with the sea, as you were one with me. A thousand pardons, but I may have a moment alone, if you please. She gave us, she provided a picture of her last nude. Wow, I can really hear him out there. You just put your ear to the door and you hear. <laughs> I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then. You were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keelhaw Key. Harumph! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off! Admiral Bobbery, wonderful! Uh, the, uh. The ship's in the harbor. I must inspect it before we leave. I shall meet you there. Nice. <sighs> Oh man, I unironically like Spawn the movie. It's what I was referencing earlier when I was talking about Luigi being a killer clown, a killer demon clown. Is <laughs> John Leguizamo? Yes, he he was the killer demon clown in uh, Spawn. Yeah, I still can't believe <laughs> that people convinced the scene of uh, Spawn getting thrust into hell for the first time was a scene from Supernatural a couple months back. Oh, goodness. I would not be surprised. Um, yeah. The thing I like about Spawn is, and this is the thing I like most about it, unfortunately, is the set design and costumes are so good. Absolutely. The CG is not good, but the costumes that it's working with is... Yeah. You can definitely tell when the CGI is being used because the CGI is really bad. But the costume Yeah, especially design... with the cape. Yeah. Uh, John Linguizamo definitely looks amazing in that clown costume. Oh, yeah. I, I love John Linguizamo. Yeah. And he's, and he, he, he plays the role perfectly, which is, which is part of why I'm so upset that the, that the story was kind of bad because the acting in that is so good and the character design is so good. It's the CGI and the story that really sink it. Yeah. But the and... thing is, a, a bad story can be saved by good characters. That's why I like Deadly Premonition. The story is absolute dog shit, but the characters are so endearing and so quirky, and I love them. Vivian, are you are you channeling Lady Demetrescu again? What did we say? Yeah. Only at night, because <laughs> she's a vampire. <laughs> and boy, you wonderful Lucy. 
pistachios, man. I must say, ahoy. Oh, it was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. Ahoy to you, Papatch. Ahoy to you, Green Mushroom. Ahoy, Captain. Ahoy to you, mysterious fellow who held me at gunpoint to get on board the ship. <laughs> this is my ship. And if you want to go, well, wait until we're farther out. It, nothing will happen, but it's about the implications, yes. My men have already loaded the cargo and supplies. Yes! Preparations are complete. No, we can depart at once. What do you say? Set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. We don't have anything. Do we have anything left to do? Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, not really. Nothing that I. That's super critical. Okay. Well, see. Days anger and set sails for thrills and emotion. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. Y what? You keep peeking your mic. Uh, that's kind of the point. Yeah. I mean, but, but, but part, part of, like, the peaking issue is that it cuts out, like, words you're saying. Oh, uh, okay. So, so, you're, so you're saying, like... Romance and money and destination as dread kill hokey. I think crisp. I think I might need to turn off crisp. Maybe. Wait up! Oh, who's joining us? Oh, it was that oh. little bob dude. He was sitting by the uh, side of the boat. Okay. Look how beautiful that scene it is. It is a beautiful boat. Mm. It, they do really good with environments and assets. This okay. is X not one here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X not one over here. Roger, reading your five by infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Is that is that racist? Can we say that? Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. Ah, it feels wrong saying that, man. Yeah. I'm not even going to touch that joke. It's, uh... Uh... That, that's as risky as I'm getting when it comes to those, that topic. Yeah. The key to pirates. God, the dumbest post I have ever seen is uh someone is a post about that a teacher posted about how their student was having difficulty understanding why they couldn't they couldn't understand why they were having difficulty finding any books on African American uh English or not English uh French authors they were they were trying to find African American French art authors you know they were trying to find uh, black French authors, but refused to, but kept insisting on calling it African American. Oof. Yeah, and not realizing, you know, if they're French, they're not American, first <laughs> of all. And uh. that's the last thing I'm going to say on that. Okay. Right. This is you. Month oh. <clears throat> Month star, day XO, over the protests of the crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. This is Flavion, by the way. I know. Oh, so you're doing like a romanticized voice? Well, yeah, that's what we do for text. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, whenever it's not actually being spoken. The voyage is reckless, they say. Ha, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. I will gut that man's stem to stern, and then I will place him aboard the mast. There's nothing in here but gunpowder. Bring me another bomb. bomb I wish to do science. Month star. Day XX. Another day of good wind and light clouds. They dazzle me. It's as if they're blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartedly. Monster Day X Note. Things are going smoothly, yet I'm filled with dread. No, I, th I think that's more like a, my... it's like a treble note. So it's like, ah! 
day X. Uh, ah! At this speed, we should be reaching our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. I suspect my crew may be mutiny. I will be prepared and sleep with the flintlock under my pillow. Oh, Skull Captain cast his gaze, the red door shines and plays. Bossa boom, bossa boom. It, it's boom bossa boom festival it, it's yeah. imp it's it's important that we get it right because <laughs> th th this song is more important the than that brothers best of friends three times red stash lands on then blue stash belly four times whacked uh, let's hear the fireworks go boom yes at the bossa at the boom bossa boom festival His voice is like an angel. Yes, yes. Oh, we're talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no? The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? This mountain of treasure. No, I fear fabulous. I shall tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery, whereas bravely rod. Is this the time that you had raw eggs for breakfast? It was kind of gross, sir. No. I, I was competing in a boxing match and needed a train. No, it's no trouble at all. I, I was locked in a deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. And I had the base licked, for I am Flavio. Great, he started he starting again. Huge drink of a man eater, but now you know I could take him, yes, and take him, I did. Oh, where was I? Oh, yes. Can, can you stop? Yes, I actually want to give you the dialogue. I smiled. <laughs> no, you just keep. Okay, okay. I, I tell you the bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. I, he was a giant, massive drink of a man either. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen till he's finished. Which is roughly three times by the end of the first story. If you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it, too. Oh, why is the... What, what's going on here? The ship stopped. And then... That is meat right in my mouth. Master Flavio, uh, awfully sorry to interrupt the wicked story, but the ship stopped. What? Uh, uh, it stopped, you say? You say to me after interrupting my story of passion and furry. It wasn't that passionate, and I don't think that was a fur. Oh, that was, was more of it. That was an avian. Passionate. But it was if an avian or a scaly. It depends on what you consider you, birds. You would have heard me say how passionate it was. It's your job is to keep the ship moving, so take care of it now. I can take care of my wolf field, but I can't take care of this. I'll get on it right quick. Wait a tick. Yep, this is where the steering wheel is. This should solve it. Oh, he's across this. He's looking around. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. Jesus Christ, that's awful considering Goombas die when stomped. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm walking over here. I say quit oh, shoving. G -g 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 uh, arg! It, it stop running. Okay, fine, whatever. This is my crow's nest. There, 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 there. What is the ruckus now? Yeah, will somebody tell me what's going on on my ship? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Small and large cereal bits. Get the mushroom. No, oh, no, they're upon us. The pirate ghosts. All of them rumors are true. What? Oh, oh. Hey, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Yeah. Don't panic yourselves. 
this is just a dream we are all having awake. Now, now quickly move the boat. Move it, I say. Ooh. Smoke on the water, fire in my eyes. There goes to sing your really a savage fire king. No, I'm the first mate, man. Can't you tell? Well, technically, that makes you the Barry King, as the Barry King is dead. That would make you the de facto leader. Well, I'm dead, too, so I, I guess, like, you know. I like that he turns it below. Buck up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Do not panic. It relax. says right here on this book. Relax, Just... relax, I say. You must simply take it easy. I like that there's, like... <laughs> But only some people are panicking, and there's just two people at the top just walking back and forth with smiles on their faces. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the the toad and the babam. Yeah, right, even even, even higher up, oh, one of them's the shopkeeper. Oh. Dang it! Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, but they're still panicking. I, I thought you meant the babam and the toad who are just like yep, yeah, they're, 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 but they're just day. they're just smiling. Make a path. <laughs> Barry, look alive, man. Where's Barry? We must get out of here. Abandon the ship. No, abandon my marvelous ship. Oh, shit, it's stinking, isn't it? I will go down with this ship. Monster, day XR, the fortune from disaster, the seas. Kind, the kindly seas wash us ashore. What strange irony is this? The island we intended our destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We lost three crew members, including Admiral Bombery. It pains me to think they were taken by the pirate ghost. That ghostly thing. What happens to us now? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. Month star day X heart. We have made semblance of civilization here. The ships floats and washed in, and we have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on salty bounty of the sea, but then what I ask? Months month star day boo We've built a few <laughs> huts from the washed gold timbers. Day boobs. Yeah. <laughs> What they look like. Oh, poor, poor sweet SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep the wind, keep out the wind and rain. To be fair, I was I was about to say boobs if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we still have no sign of Bobbery or the others. My heart, she has doubt. Still, despite my fears, we continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. And my heart will go on. Month saw day X day circle X. Three days on the aisle now, and our huts are all finished. We've carved our life here, so we all dream of returning to Rogueport. Oi, Captain Stash! It ain't much. Anymore. We don't even have a ship. It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. We finished right. it last because we can't stand you. Always looking out at the water. By the way, this island looks beautiful. It's very pretty. Oh shit! What the fuck is? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, quite sire. Wacka ho! I'm Wacka. We got some good weather today, right? Right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. Wacka do. Oh god. I love it. It's like it looks like Quagsire. He's adorable. He's my favorite he character. He's like a super important. You're gonna kill. Oh. Whack out! Don't hit me. I was about to say you're about to kill him, aren't you? The whack a bump is literally the best item in the game. Oh yeah, I saw that on Zesty's uh, recipes. Yeah, it's legitimately good. Legitimately. Oh man. 
It does more than the Zesty special, which is... Which is, it's used in making the Zesty special. Really? I think so. Oh, shit! Some... You, a shop has been made. Captain, please help us! Flappio and Papach are having a huge fight! Again! Again? Oh, what about you, Squinty? You turn jelly when you saw those ghosts. Wow, Jesus Christ! What are you talking about? You are the one quaking his boots, fancy pants. I don't even have pants. That's why I don't quake in them. Wait a moment. Did you just call me the great fly of fancy pants? That was my favorite Flash game back when Flash was around. That's I right. Really miss it. That's right. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. It, it had a game you can buy on like the Xbox 360. Oh, you little cyclops. Flavio demands satisfaction. You, you, me, hammers are done. Oh my god. You Flavio is a shit. You don't just go up to someone who's missing an eye and call them cyclops. Oh, that's right, fun by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads with my shotgun. I can't believe... So, I can't believe that... Oh, who's that? There he is! No, this is probably you. This oh. is probably Flavio. <laughs> Captain Stash, the ghost are back! I cannot believe that Flavio called the Babom two slurs. My old front and sitter! That's an order to take care of the ghost. Oh, me? Oh, if we use Miss Mouse, that would go bypass their defenses, right? Uh, Ooh, I'm I... assuming they have high defense, because ghosts typically don't take damage. This is tricky. I think we have to swap to someone else. Well, yeah, swap to Goombella to tattle on them. Vivian does fire damage, and these guys are fire, so... Ew. That, that, that's the issue. Like, literally. Well, that's an ember. It's a pale, it's a pale blue flame spirit. Oh, their defense is zero. Oh, I'm gonna guess, yeah, touching it will hurt. Didn't your mama teach you that? Looks like it's susceptible to ice or explosives, so uh, that'll do something. How is the being made of fire susceptible to explosives? Well, the explosive disperses the flame. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, you'll catch on fire if you touch them. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, that is really not good. Damn it, Mario. I blame you. The timing is weird. I like their cute little mouths. It was just a moment too late on that one. That's All fine. Right. You heal. Why are you so low on flower power? I must not have, uh... I must not have uh, rested since the, the last big boss fight. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch to Koops. Oh. I was about to ask if uh, Sunny could go. eat him. Sunny probably can, but, like, it's risky. Yeah, because Sunny might get heartburn. Yeah. Ew. That's not good. Oh, shoot. I have no flower power. I just realized. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Uh. Jesus Christ, how many stars do we have so far? Quite a few. We got four. And how many are there? Uh, there are seven. Dang it. Oh. Well, that, that's enough. Yeah. That didn't do nearly as much damage. Dang it. Christ, these things are kicking your ass. Yeah, it's my own fault. 
To be fair, how are we supposed to know that you didn't do the thing? Oh, shoot. <sighs> oh, God. Well, it's a good thing you have a life shroom. I'll be fine. I can kill him in the next hit. I hope so. Because if you miss... Okay, you didn't miss. That is good. Never miss! Never surrender. You're a blooming beast, Captain Stash! And to only celebrate now, there's surely more of them elsewhere. Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that must be. As a leader of this expedition, of course, I should stay here. And I'd brook no argument. Ah, yes. Of course, Mario. Perhaps you could handle the exploration. No, no way, pal. You can't just sit there in the sun's ourselves all day like a mermaid. Someone must get out there and look around. So we'll decide a fair and square. Everyone all in favor of Mario exploring the island. Please raise your hands. Oh, four. Yeah, hey, good luck, pal. I didn't actually see any hands raised. We don't have the animation for it. We wasted all of it on uh, uh, Dupless breaking it. through the wall again and again. And two of them don't... And two of them don't even have hands. There you have it. Accounts on you, bold explorer. Is there some... Oh, a save yeah. is good. Yeah, here, here, here's my... Uh... Oh. oh, dang it. Oh, bad. Perfect. So they make uh, me pay for for a good night's rest. Well, what do you expect? They're pirates. They don't do this shit for we're, free. We're, we're sailors, not pirates. <sighs> I mean, what is a pirate but a sailor without a code? Check out the item shop. They got Ice Storm. I'm going to pick up one of these, actually. Okay, but let me see if I can sell real quick. Oh, I'm here to store, actually. Let's store the whack a bump. That's valuable. Uh, let's, let's throw in the, um, uh, the power block. That's not going to help any because, because none of these enemies are ground. Really. That's fair. Uh, so I have a question you're trapped in a house it's booby trapped and you have to escape would you rather it have been booby trapped by Jigsaw or Kevin McAllister <sighs> Jigsaw I know plays fair so you always give me a chance it's horrible and it's painful and likely I'll suffer but, but it's survivable. But he also does it based off of my sins and or the perceived sins that I have com sim committed before him. Yeah, Kevin McAllister shows no mercy to anybody. You know what? That seems to be the general consensus. That's pretty much the same thing that the people on this server agreed on. Yeah, so so I'd rather uh, it be Jigsaw because at, at least I can figure out like what he wants out of me. And you're more likely to survive. Yeah. Fuzzies! I love the fuzzies. Jungle fuzzy. They gotta die oh. real quick. Well, you need a, a, a Goombella. Yeah, okay. I think these guys steal FP instead. Well, we're about to find out. Blah, 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 blah. Well, they're green fuzzies. They're... They're stats. They're similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes... Yeah. Okay, so, so, so does happen. HP. Okay. Oh, don't be rude to the fuzzies. Oh, dang it, no. Timing, my timing is off. The vampires. Oh, shoot, fuck you. Oh my god, I made another. I gotta well, kill him real quick, I gotta kill him real quick, I gotta kill him real quick. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. My, my timing is off. How do you know when your timing is good or not? Oh my god. I'll take reduced damage. Okay, I gotta do it a little before then. Vices are oh. awful because they have like a, a noticeable delay. Yeah, and they heal for as much as coop damages. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, what was that? They're frozen? How'd they get frozen? That is an ice sprinkler. It occasionally pops up. So, the sage hazards get more and more... Oh. Ooh. Defense boost. Hand. Defense boost. Attack boost. Attack boost. It's it's defense. How do you know? Because uh, if it's if uh, the attack boost only happens when it's uh, when I'm attacking, and the defense boost happens at the end of my turn. Oh. And the effect of the curse is worn out. Dang it. Effect of what curse? The um. The the curse that lets stuff like that happen. Oh no, that's not good. I'm sure we can manage until we get back to town. What was that? Head rattle. Execute superbly to confuse enemies. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Courage show. Courage show. It, it increases my defense. Nice. Oh shoot. I was kind of hoping that was going to be shallow. To be fair, it looks shallow. He dodged my swings. Oh man, how dare he! Can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you've done this to me. Okay, the pink one steals my FP. The pink one still. Have you? Uh, you still need a tattle on the pink yeah, one. Yeah, I'll sw swap to Gimbella right now. Goodness, is I get like nine star points for. Batch I kill, so I'm so I'm not really worried about uh. Oh. That's good. Pain is a great motivator. Ah, pain is my mistress. Wait a minute, I need to do something real quick. No. Wait, gear, items. What's my HP like? A big rip. Oh, dang it. Not dead. Ace. The putrid piranha. Oh, they're poisonous. 8 HP. Okay. Dang it. He farted at me. Oh god, the ice hurts you? No, I'm I'm poisoned. Ew. That's not good. Yeah. It's really not good. Yeah, you know, I'm fine. It, it its effect ends when um miss mini Mr. Mini. I make myself an empty slot and then suddenly that comes in. Oh, dang it. That's it. I'm doing an earth tremor. I'm, I'm being careful here. 
Yeah, because you're almost dead. Yep. These enemies go hard. Don't mess up. Whatever you do, don't hit the wrong button and mess up. You did that on purpose. You psyched me out. Of course. I always do like doing, saying don't mess up whenever someone's trying to do a rhythm based thing. Oh, dang it. Okay, so, so it's right before Pockers and Celeps like that. Huh? Nothing. Oh. <sighs> oh, man. I watched uh, a review of uh, Season 3 of uh, Infinity Train, and it had some really good insights on how, like, what makes a villain redeemable versus irredeemable and why Simon was irredeemable. And what it did is it it basically boiled down to whether or not the villain wants to be redeemed, whether or not they're willing to take the first steps needed. Uh, and I think that No, is the most no, Vivian, you bitch! What happened? Gumbella, you whore, you took my life's room. Oh, man. Why do you even have Goombella still out? Because I don't want to change her just in case something comes up that I need her to tattle. Oh, you don't want to lose that turn? Yeah. Dang it. <sighs> yeah, it, it There we concluded... go. There, there's something I can. It concluded that uh, villains can't be redeemed if they don't want to be redeemed. If they don't, if they're not willing to take the first step, Makes because sense. Simon was given chance after chance after chance uh, to to stop being a dick. Like he was given so many chances, and he not only refused them, but actively became antagonistic towards them. Uh, and you could tell. Like that, it was because that's what the number. The number was a good indicator of it. Yeah, he had a higher number than even Abigail. Amelia. Amelia. Abigail. By the way, uh, I learned something interesting about season four. Have you seen that yet? Yeah, I've seen it. Okay. Apparently, season five, which was gonna show Amelia's rise to power, uh, was going to be happening was going to coincide and recontextualize the uh, uh, the conductor announcements, the two announcements that happened. Ah, uh, yes. Um, and one important note is that in that first episode, when we see one one in the uh, in the stewardess uh, mask, he only had one eyeball. It wasn't one one. It was just one. Hmm. I I noticed that um in that scene one one talked a lot more analytically. He didn't uh Yeah. Like in uh the the turtle car. Like he did when he was trying to fix the turtle car. And uh A little, yeah. Yeah. So he so the current theory is that uh Amelia is what caused his him to gain emotions even if it is just two emotions and that caused him to split mm. because like there we go that's one all the enemies in this area okay one one is such a complex character one one's a great character and it's neat to see his evolution and it's neat to see how all the characters affect Interact. each other oh yeah I still think my favorite character of season oh. three is what? Oh, oh man! Do you think that? Uh, do you think if if the story of Amelia does get told, 
Do you think we're going to see Tuba again? No. No? Because the story of Amelia, especially in that um, instance, is about her rise to power, whereas um, Tuba and Hazel come well after that. Remember, Hazel is an anomaly created by Amelia messing with things. Well, if it's a rise to power, then it wouldn't show the aftermath, right? I, I, I can't wait for. Oh well, I. It's probably not. Well, actually, no. It might because shows have gotten. Uh, shows have gotten saved from the uh, after fans have made their voices heard. Yeah. Uh, so it's still possible. Like, if, if listening to fan voices is why we got the Snyder Cut. Yeah, uh, which is probably the best way to watch uh, Justice League. Oh, yeah, no. Snyder Cut is way, way, way better than Justice League. I wouldn't even say uh, the Snyder Cut's still good, but it's, like, it's much better than Justice League, and... It tells a good well. It, it tells a story and has believable characters. It tells a meaningful story. Yes. It, 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 it's story is one that n they felt need to be told. It's not just something they came up with on like a whim. It's something they felt people had to see. Like Joss Whedon told the story in spite. He he hated yeah. the characters even before it was he was working on it. Um, yeah, the, like the Snyder cut is telling the story that the that was that the movie was trying to tell. Justice League is telling a story that it didn't want to tell. My blueberry, my blueberries, blotches. Is that Mario? Is that Mario over there? Is that Ooh, Mario boy. over there? You're alive, yeah, old boy. Hermosa. You came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant. Eh? But what about you, Admiral? You gotta get out of here, too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghouls busy while you get out of here. Flee! That's an order. Let me do what I must do. Now away with you! He just tosses them. Huh? Well, Barbara Hero thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? Oh god, they're kidnapping Mario. What a noble sacrifice. Barbara, please forgive our cowardice. We left you when everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. And then he just continues to do it. Excuse me, but I better be going also. And hey, you, out there in front of the TV. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario, or else. What? Who is he? You out there in front of the TV? This guy go nuts or what? <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously he's nuts. He's talking to no one about nothing. Yeah. I am it's clearly probably... a actual individual oh, okay. in this universe. Nah, it's probably just talking to uh, probably just talking to Peach. You know how uh, uh, Tech is letting her spy on what's oh, happening. Shoot. You really need to stop that. You need to get better at jumping. Yeah, I guess. Oh shit, where's Bobbery? Oh he's, hey, what's that? He's dead. Bobbery's dead. That's just, that's a nice man. Oh. I love Iceman. Uh I'm gonna get rid of Courage Shell. Toss it in the ocean. Goodbye, Courage Shell. You will be missed for the ten seconds that you were necessary in my life. Are you fucking real? <laughs> uh, uh, are you are you joshing me? Are you josh weedening me? Yeah. 
Mind if I see, sing a shanty in honor of our brave fallen comrade, Bobbery? Yeah, you might as well. Watch that old fire, it flickers and dies. That once blessed the household and lit up our lives. It shone for the friends and the clinking of glasses. I'll tend to the flames, you can worship the ashes. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's uh, uh, called Ashes. It's one of my favorite shanties. Yeah. Capture the wild things and bring them in line. And own what was never your right to confine. The lives and the loves and the songs are what matters. I'll tend to the flames, you can worship the ashes. Oh, that's kinda... Do you feel heavy? Your eyes drop with grief. Your spirit is wild and your suffering is brief. So you'll never buckle and bend to the masses. I'll tend to the flames, you can worship the ashes. Ice power. Yeah, there we go. That That's useful. Nice power. Uh, and what about, what's charge? Uh, charge lets me increase my damage for the next turn. It's not really useful. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Is this how the legend of the sea meets his end, eh? Let me just check these bushes. That's what she said. <laughs> Funny. Smack him with a hammer! Oh, nice! You know, Yzma's plan would have worked if she went with her original plan of turning Cusco into a flea. And then putting him in a box, and putting that box in a box, and then... Putting that box in another box, and then mailing it to herself, and then smashing with a hammer. Mm, that worked. She... her... she... Her plan would have succeeded if she didn't decide to save on postage. Yeah, I guess that's the real criminal here. Postage rates. Oh, absolutely. And the weird thing is, she's a government uh, worker, and she would become the leader of the government had she done that. So she could easily have just uh, wrote a law to uh, make it so that she doesn't have to pay postage... And all her postage is to be retroactively. Oh paid shoot! To her. Never mind. I thought I could avoid taking damage there. Because how does a a piece of fire get frozen? Well, I froze it with my ice hammer. So. You know, if you're tired of waiting for water to boil, one thing you can do is boil water and then freeze it. So that uh, whenever you need boiled water, you just pull out of the freezer and let it thaw. Spite pouch. Briefly does half damage to a foe that hit you directly. Pretty good. Huh. Spite pouch right there. Mm. The pain of it all! Oh god, you killed him. Oh, Mario! Oh, old boy! What the hell? Hack Earth! I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario. Please hear my last request. I must thank ye for taking me out to sea one last time. But there's one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chicola Cola. I was saving that one bottle. My last memory of Scarlet. I celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flotsam drifting toward the island. So it must. It must be here somewhere. If I must have one sip before my voyage. Let it be final. Get me that Chicola Cola, oh boy. Sounds reasonable. 
You have it! You, you fiend! You're the one who took it! No! You didn't get anything! I heard it! I heard you! I heard it! You, that's Shakola Cola that you opened! What are you talking about? I didn't know such thing! I should have known you weren't trustworthy. What are you talking about? Oh, dang it. I didn't even think about that when I opened my soda. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. What's the maximum capacity for the audience? I'm uh, guessing like right, right now it's um, 75. Oh. But it can get higher. Every f 10 levels, I believe. 10 levels? Yeah. I thought it would be based like on story progression. No, it's it's levels. What's your favorite sea shanty? Uh, I like Willerman a lot, which is let Let's be honest, it's kind of the one everybody talks about right now. Well, not to be a hipster, but I liked it before it was cool. Uh, I've been following Longest Johns ever since they did. They started playing Sea of Thieves. Mm. Uh, that's how I found it. That's actually where I first heard Wellerman. Uh, is when they posted the Sea of Thieves, where they were all singing it uh, while playing Sea of Thieves, and the other people playing Sea of Thieves were like, "Wait, is that like actual? You know, she sent they were no, no. They were like, are you actually singing that, or is that like a recording?" Because they were singing it live into their mics. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I love the Longest Drawns. I really like their version of a Drunken Sailor. What do you do with a Drunken Sailor early in the morning? Yeah. It, the, uh, it, it's... You want me to sing it? Uh, sing the version from Dishonored. Uh, what do you do with a Drunken Whaler? Oh, uh, I don't know that one. I right, just look it up on Google. Well, the thing about Longest John's uh, version of Drunken Sailor is that it's not the tip. It, it it's not like this standard one. It actually has a narrative to it, and the actual lines you're familiar with don't come until the very end in the final verse. Oh, okay. Ah. I, well, we have some fortune, such a be for Flavio. My, my goodness, you, your mic really does cut out when you go right into that voice, because... Well, no, I moved my mic back. Oh, uh, okay. Um, such a relief for Flavio. I just thought some jungle beasts were snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. No, wait a moment. Am I wrong? Are we so one man short? That's right! Oh my god. That's right! Aubrey sacrificed himself to save us from the ghost! Please! We have to get back and help him! Hey, what lunacy is from forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, Runtinson, I entrust you with a mission to save our dear Admiral! What's that you say? Chocola Cola, yes, well, why would I have that? But, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? What? The Admiral Mason Parish and he wants to drink it as his last wish? Ah, so, what we're dealing with is the last request, am I correct? Hmm? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach before this noble cause. I yield. I yield. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my uh, supplies which we need to survive. So I'll need you to find something to eat in order to replace this so I do not budge. Yes. Now, I'm sure there's something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. What about those coconuts you got earlier? Oh, you're smart. Uh, so, what will you give it in exchange? Make it good? I'm the editor for Fabish Gourmet Weekly. 
I go again at this, it's not well, it is an island, but a bit cliched. Oh, well, perhaps I can set my hopes too high for a fortune non gourmand such as you. There you go, take the Coca-Cola cola in regards to the Admiral. Favorite, Flavia's favorite treasured beverage. Actually, it's Bobberies. <laughs> Oh, you want the bouquet of swizzling chin and savor and all the fine fizziness? Yeah. On a side note, if you give him anything else, he has a fit and won't give you the Chicola Cola. Oh. So it has. Well, I'm, I'm glad I noticed you getting those coconuts earlier then. Yeah. If you give him like, anything else, he's like, mm, this isn't good enough. You have to uh, go back and get more. <laughs> But you don't have enough. Come back when you're a little more richer. Oh, hey, you should get uh, uh, Mouse, Miss Mouse, to steal that. Oh, shoot. Uh, but I kind of don't want it, and I don't have the space. Oh. Uh. Yeah, oh, the. Oh, nice. I wish I increase. Um, since I'm using a lot more powers, I should probably do my uh, FP. But badges are good, so I'll do badges. Yeah, you've been having to deal with the limited badge space uh, more recently. Speaking of, uh, why don't we bring Mouse out for a bit? Because uh, there might be badges nearby. Mm, I don't think there's anything near here, sweetie. Okay, never mind. All right, let's see how she does her slap attack. I want to see how she does that because I haven't yeah. actually used Miss Mouse. Really? No, I, I never used Miss Mouse as a kid. Huh. I like her heart tail. She is a very cute design. She does. It is downright adorable. Oh no. Not the fog. The love slap is oh. a little on the way. We can get together. Love slap, baby. Oh, love slap, baby. Oh, shit. That's not good. Love slap, baby. Love slap. You've, you've heard uh, Love Shack, right? Probably. Yeah. I think it's made by the people who did Rock Lobster. Mm. Oh, man. What, uh... What movies have I watched recently? I know I watched oh, one recently. Oh, dang it. I'm not, I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, you know what? I learned recently big playing with the big boys now that is supposed to that is the uh, comedic relief song of Prince of Egypt. Yeah. I never really that never really clicked until it was explicitly pointed out uh to me because it's not like it's not a necessarily a funny song especially when compared to other comedic relief songs like Hakuna Matata, or the song the gargoyles sing in Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. Um, but uh, Prince of Egypt has such great music, and playing with the big boys now, even if it's not the strongest song, it is still an amazing song that's leagues above the uh, songs of other uh, animated movies. I do like that because it's a lot more villainous. It gets away with a greater degree of uh, I, I can tease everyone. Hmm. Oh, interesting. A greater degree of uh... Oh, Shadow Clone Jutsu. I do like that enemies have like specific animations for when they're dizzy. 
That is cute. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I, yeah, villain song is what I always read it as, rather than a comedic relief song. Okay. Uh, it, it's yeah. it's good for um, even a comedic relief song. Oh yeah. What it does is it um. It definitely shows the uh, my favorite detail is that when they turn their snaff their staffs into snakes, they do it with a they smack their sticks together and there's a bright flash. So it's very clear that they're just doing parlor tricks rather than actual magic like Moses yeah. did. Uh, that's something that the Ten Commandments got wrong. Because uh, the Ten Commandments, they just use the same uh, effect that uh, they did with Moses' staff. To yeah. rather than a sleight of hand and press the digitation, and like I think that in, in like in the Ten Commandments case, uh, it actually takes away from what's happening because it's like, oh no, they're actually magical. Like they're not doing parlor tricks; they're actually magical, just like Moses. And it's like the. It, no, the point of Moses's miracles are that they're the le they're supposed to be legit things that can't be recreated pr in reality. Yeah. Ah, uh, dang it, Miss Miss Mass is a lot harder to do her love slap for than I thought it she was gonna be. Also, well, I just need to get a practice. Mm, fair enough. Also, she doesn't do nearly as much damage, which makes sense because she's um. It's she goes through piercing. defense. Yeah. Uh, let's use an item right here. What about the ice storm? No, nah, I'm saving that. Oh, for the the fire, the flames? Yeah. Through the fire and flames. I love that song. So I have a fun story related to that song. Uh, oh? When I was dating uh, years ago, back in high school, um, the girl I was dating at the time was like, oh, I've been playing a lot of rock band. And I'm like, oh, I've never played that. She's like, oh, we'll start with something easy. And she... Through the fire and flames on expert. Yeah, just no, you just fire and flames. One. Yeah, it was just fire yeah, and flames, but yeah, you uh, told me you were like as she was scrolling, you realized something was immediately wrong because she was scrolling all the way to the bottom. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I remember you mentioning that. I think and... it was when we were talking about through the fire and flames is what brought you. Not surprising. To... Yeah, it's what I think about when I think of fire and flames. I I like the song. I could not. Do, I can do it flawlessly on easy. I can do it decently well on medium. I cannot do it ha on harder. Actually, I probably wouldn't even be able to do it flawlessly on easy anymore because it's been like twelve years. It's been over twelve years since I last played. Thankfully, that fuzzy and, seems to be stuck in the world geometry, so I don't gotta worry about them. And I would be super super rusty. When did Guitar Hero Three come out? Uh, Guitar Hero 3 came out in 2007. Jesus Christ. I liked Rock Band quite a bit. Yeah. Then again, I played guitar, my brother played bass, and he had a miserable time, so. Oh, man. There's the worst song, or the worst, if you hate someone a lot, there's one thing you can, wow, I can't believe you've done I, that. I thought I could jump and do this at the same time, so it's like, nah, my jump is nerfed. Quite heavily. What are you trying to do? I, I was trying to challenge myself by like uh, doing this. Oh. Uh. So. There, there's one song where, like, it, it's a regular song for like guitar and bass and keyboard and all that, but it is the worst song to play if you're on drums because the drum has no variation whatsoever and it's slow and uh like if you're there's no vocals at all so if you're on vocals you could just go do whatever for the next uh eight minutes Oof. but if you're on drums you just gotta sit there and go like dun 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 for like the entire time Oof. ah the oh, stink you. of bouquet you, you brought it. Slurp, gulp, 
Ah, this glorious flavor, dear boy, it awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace. I have nothing left in this world now. Thank ye for granting my last request. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. It's pronounced Mario. His wheel's still spinning. Oh, he's dead. We gotta move on. Yeah, okay. We gotta accept that. I mean, we you can see he's, he's breathing. We have to continue this journey. We we don't. We must not let his sacrifice drag us down. I wasn't dead, Mario. I just went. Err. Not everyone who goes err is dead. He's he's dead. You can. <laughs> That's you. I think Bobby's just sleeping. Yeah, he is. And here I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake up whack. Uh, switch to another companion first in okay. case there's. Oh, that way you don't have to voice every character. <laughs> Wait, let's see what Mouse, Miss Mouse does. Uh, uh, Mario, I think he's just sleeping after all that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. And I was so sad for him. Whack him a wake up, will you? Let's see what the others have to say. I really want to know what uh, Miss Nose has to say. This, this is actually kind of interesting. Hmm, Mario, sweetie, I do believe that Barbary's just sleeping. Yes, in fact, I'm positive. After all that worrying, smack him awake, sweetie. I love that each have like different dialogue, unique just to them, just for their personality. That that's good stuff. Well, we always saw Vivians. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm whacking them. Oh, I don't want to waste a lot right. of time. Pirates! Where are those pirates? You are the pirate. Oh, poor Bobby. He's pretty shaken up. What now? Oh, Mario boy, it's you. You have an a we have you have a you have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital. Uh, Bobby, you're not in the afterlife. You're still alive. I'd know if you were in the afterlife, because I'm dead, technically, I think. Or was I ever even alive in the first place? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors. Oh, right. Now I recall. Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? Beep, beep, beep. What's his power? I'm going to guess he explodes, because he's a babam. Press X to make Mario through Bobbery. He will then walk several steps and explode. Oh, wow, what a shock. Ah, big rip. Use Bobbery's explosions to blast cracks open, destroy walls, and activate switches. You can even throw him into ledges above you. You ever think about the logistics of having an entire... Uh, an entire like species whose uh, life is that they explode. They actually tackle that in Origami King. Oh, really? How so? So one of the characters you meet along the way is um is known as Bobby the Bubomb. And as you're talking with him, he's like, oh, I'm just bob -omb. No name, just bob -omb. And the character's like, oh, you gotta have a name. He's like, no, it's just bob -omb. And there's, like, other bob -omb's. like, hey, we're old bob -omb. So, so, so they're, they're, they make something work within, like, the incredibly restrictive framework of what's offered. But Bobby... Yeah, they're lampshading the fact that they can't make anything unique. Yeah. So, so Bobby's main issue is that he no longer has a fuse. It fell out. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Well, actually, no, that probably is good, because now that means he's not going to die. Uh... So, so you go on this big epic adventure after a point, and Bobby joins you. He's not really useful, unfortunately. Mo most of the side characters are not useful until, like, the last chapter. 
Um, but Bobby, um, well, let, let's show off his secret power. Yeah, you, you notice that I'm not very good at throwing those bombs. I apologize. Yeah. I would have just gone with, uh, yeah. Oh no, sleepy sheep, sleepy sheep, sleepy sheep. Oh no, I'm doomed. You should have, uh, Uh, they they got Bobbery. Yeah, I noticed. I mean, like, think about it like this: a bomb could walk into a bank and rob it with ease. Yeah, probably. Like, oh, I can hurt. I hurt myself actually. How did you hurt yourself? Uh, the bombs hurt me, too. Where did you throw... Wait, how did the bombs get back I, there? I accidentally threw one up into the air right above me. Because I'm a dummy. Oh. That's probably not a good idea. Yeah. yeah does so... Bobbery take damage whenever he explodes? No, he does not. Oh. So what ends up happening is... Uh, Bobby... Is you lose one of your companions, uh, what's her name, Olivia, or something, and I don't, I don't know who she, Olivia is. She she's she's just the floating helper character. Oh. And what happens is, she needs to be rescued after being buried under rocks. So you and Bobby oh, go on a epic adventure where. You must rescue him, her uh, Olivia, by getting Bobby a fuse, and then he kills himself. Like permanently? Permanently, Bobby dies. Jesus Christ! I know it's kind of fucked up. Oh well, he is just a regular ass bomb. Yeah. Send him this up. He, he ends up dying. Just boom. One life. The end. Jesus Christ, yeah. Uh, uh, Bobby, name Babom. Nicknames Bobber, Bombas, Bobby. Uh, games, Origami King. Locations, Automatum Trail. Species, Babom. Moves, Bomb Pump. Information, Amnesiac. Formulae, Status, Deceased. Yeah. He, he dies. He blows himself up, and it's this tragic moment. He's like... I had a great time. Uh, bob Bomb's life is short. It's only a moment. But you made it worthwhile. And I want to use this moment to to aid you. And then he blows himself up. And he's dead uh, permanently. The end. Like, legitimately. He dies. He straight up dies. And then you run into other bob -Bombs, And they also blow themselves up en masse. And it's like... That's horrifying. It is very horrifying, legitimately. Jesus Christ! What system is Origami King for? Switch. I kind of want to get it now. Um, look up gameplay because the uh, combat system is, as I mentioned before, pretty garbage. Isn't that Bobbery? He's been alive all this time, really? Unless that's his ghost. I thought it was a goner for sure. Oh my god, that 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 toad is disgusting. He almost threw Jesus up. Jesus Christ! Once back in Sweet Pepper Valley, he reveals that his fuse and memories were separated from him when the Cooper Blooper attacked the uh, attacked Princess Peach uh, while he and his Babom comrades were on it. He goes on to explain that the item in the box is his best friend's fuse, who passed away several years ago. He then attaches the fuse to himself and blows up the rock crushing Olivia sacrificing himself for her god damn yeah it's legitimately astounding like he's dead he dies the end this uh... <laughs> yeah 
Like the, yeah. the fact is, he dies. He doesn't come back, and they don't sugarcoat it. Yeah, he's not. He's not pining. He's passed on. This babam is no more. He ceased to be. He's expired. Gone to meet his maker. He's stiff, bereft of life. Uh, he rests in peace. If you nailed him to a perch, he'd be pushing. If you hadn't nailed him to a perch, he'd be pushing up daisies. His metallic, his metabolic processes are now history. I think we get the he's joke. Quick, he's kicked the bucket. He shuffled off his mortal coil, run down the curtain, and joined the, the joke. choir invisible. This is an ex bomb. I'm pretty sure he got the quote. <laughs> yeah. I, I love my friend. Oh, Bobby, welcome back to you. Last I heard you were dying. Hmm. Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset, or I'm allergic to coconuts, but I must worry about everyone here. Who, but who worries for Flavio? No one. You know how hard it is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? No, you don't know. Waiting to lurch and snack upon me. We don't even know how to get home for the sake of the blue and briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Fabio, boy, I must say. You talk rather too much. Such insolence. Yeah. I'll let you like an angry jungle beast or two. So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier. There was a rather odd rock in the east, in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Call it an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. That's you. Hey, Barbary, want to know what really smells suspicious? Flavio's armpit. Oi, oh, smells like low tide. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. But seriously, you may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well. I can figure it out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure's certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue my notable duty of protecting the camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm so sorry to make many requests, but you know. Fabio, you old cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Well, yes, that might <laughs> Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along and investigate the Skull Rock? Oh, heck yes. Yes, I can yeah! lead. Have fun out there, oh, sir. Yeah. Off with you. Thank the Flavio. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square and what? Not fair. Flavio hates you all. Flavio will kill all of you. Flavio will be joining your party for a short time. Okay. Save again. Are we calling it a night here? Uh, I've been streaming for only about an hour and a half. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's 9.45. We started. Nope. That'd be two and a half. Yeah, I, I guess. We've done a bit. This seems like a good halfway point. Uh. Hey. Yeah, uh, we've been streaming for two hours. That Skull Rock you mentioned sounds interesting. Let me know what you find. Good, Mr. Totally Not the X Not. So, Barbary, you off to have a peep at the Skull Rock with Captain Stash. I will ride here there with you, but my Graham Graham told me no Skull Rocks. So, so you better pack up Captain Stash without me, all right, mate? And Captain Barbary is literally one of my favorite characters. Just look at him. He's, he's he got a great design. Air to... He does. I love his mustache. It, it kind of reminds me of Eggman. Oh, man, did you ever see that one... 
uh, comic someone drew of Eggman's mother being pushed off a cliff by a bunch of hedgehogs? <laughs> I have not. If you find it, send it my way. But oh, uh... I absolutely will. <laughs> I think I retweeted it. All right. So we're we're, we're ca- calling it quits for the night. Uh, thank right. you everybody for joining. Thank you for stopping by. Um, uh, check out some of the other Let's Plays like my Symphony of the Night. Uh, we got a decent amount of stuff done uh, in the last video. None of which is what we were supposed to do. No, we got some uh, good stuff. We're supposed to get the gold ring. Yeah, what? We're, we're sp- supposed to go to Ulrix. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but we've got yeah. the gold ring, which is necessary. So, Is it? Okay. Well, uh, and also check out either of the two Dungeons & Dragons campaigns, World of Tapir or Realm of Zulu. And in the comments, leave a comment of what your favorite sea shanty is. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining. And like, comment, subscribe. And good night, everybody! Good night, everybody!